Joining us is Graham Parker. He's the former general manager of WQXR, and he's currently the president of Decca Gold, the American arm of Universal Music Classics. And Decca Gold will be releasing recordings of the top prize winners. So thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thanks thank for having you. me. Can you tell us more about your partnership with the Clyburn and also when we can expect to the release of the recordings of these winners. Absolutely, we're very excited to partner with Van Cliburn. This is the first year that uh, Decca Gold is partnering with the Van Cliburn International Piano Competition. And we are turning around the record really fast. You really? can expect the Gold Winners record digitally released on June 23rd. That is wow. less than two weeks after the final wow. notice plate. Less than two weeks. Get That's ready. <laughs> no time for you to master the recording. How are you gonna decide what to put on this recording? So literally when the, uh, uh, the winner is announced on Saturday, tomorrow, uh, we will be working through the night on Saturday and Sunday to listen to all of the repertoire they played during the last two weeks uh -huh. and discussing it with the winner, making a decision on Monday morning, it has to be finished. Oh my goodness, so oh my that goodness. is a fast turnaround. So Universal Music is one of the biggest companies, record companies the in biggest. the world. Yes, oh, the right. biggest. Yes, all right, correction, the biggest. <laughs> I'm lucky to be have recorded for DECA. Um, but also, can you tell us specifically what DECA goal their, your identity is? Absolutely. I mean, Decca Gold is a really exciting new label that we started here in the United States. And our goal is to really focus on American classical music and to really focus on the extraordinary artists that make their home here, often born here. And so we're looking at uh, emerging new exciting artists. We're forming partnerships with major institutions, including the Van Cliburn, and also looking at the next, uh, maybe the next Andrea Bocelli. Oh, nice. Well, as a recording head honcho, um, <laughs> what sorts of things do you look for when signing a new artist? I think there's lots of different things. We're looking, of course, for number one, they have to have extraordinary artistic quality. We are looking for the best of the best. We're looking for personality. We're looking for someone who maybe has a real vision around their career, who really wants to make a statement about something, who can really connect with audiences, who can figure out a way to bring that artistry to a whole new generation of listeners, and who can maybe put a, a program together that we've never thought of before. Love it. You've had such a rich and diverse career in the arts. You've worked at WQXR. You've also uh, worked for the Orpheus Chamber Orchestra, one of the greatest ensembles here in the world. Um, what do you think of the current state of classical music and where do you think we're heading? I'm very excited by the future of classical music. People often get very dismayed about the future. I think there's a great quote by Alex Ross that said, we've been writing about the demise of classical music for <laughs> sure. 300 years. I think the future is bright. I think it's all of our responsibilities. You guys are great examples of pushing the boundaries, of testing where we can go, of inviting audiences in in different ways. It used to just be the concert hall, but now we have social media, we have videos, we have blogs, we have Medici TV, we have all different ways that we can reach audiences. I think it's all of our responsibilities is to think creatively, to find the best artists, find the right platform, and create the greatest music possible. Wow. Well, the Clyburn is doing a fantastic job of discovering incredible artists here. We've seen so many talented pianists. You mentioned recording the, the or releasing a recording of the gold medalist. Will you be working with the silver medalist and bronze medalist as well? Absolutely. We uh, our, our relationship with the Van Clyburn is to release exactly as you say, the gold, silver, and bronze. So the gold gets done first, June 23rd, and then August 18th, we'll release the physical copy of the gold and the digital of the silver wow. and bronze. So it's all wow. wrapped up by the middle of August. What about the non-live? recordings will you be working on separate projects with each winner so after the, the winner is announced then we get to know them and make those discussions absolutely awesome. so exciting I know it's exciting I just wish you could record all of the competitors because <laughs> there's, there's been so many highlights throughout the entire competition and finally can you just going back in time what made you fall in love with classical yeah. music in the first place it's always a concert. I have to say I was one of those geeky kids growing up in London and it was, I played music and listened on my record player in my room while I was meant to be doing homework. It was, there was a concert of Marla One when I went oh. to the proms, when I was, I think, four, the proms in London, the Royal Albert Hall. I think I was 14 or 15 and I went with a friend and that piece just changed my life. Wow, that's oh, pretty great. powerful choice. Yes. Pretty powerful yes. piece. Well, we're gonna conclude with a series of shorter questions we want you to answer instinctively and quickly. Graham Parker, you are in the hot seat for Clyde Fly Burning. Burning. Questions. Let's do this. We're going to begin. Name three artists that are on your non-classical playlist. Oh, wow. Anushka Shankar, Ed Sheeran, Bruno Mars. Excellent. Yes. Love the variety. Okay, first classical recording you fell in love with. Mozart Oboe Quintet. Quartet. Whoa. Oh, wow. Interesting. Love Mozart. Um, if you could choose, what would be your last meal? Oh, my goodness. M my dad's spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. Oh. You're a foodie. Okay. <laughs> Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat? 
I'm old. I'm Facebook. <laughs> it's a classic. <laughs> um, what's next on your travel bucket list? Oh, wow. I've always wanted to go to India. Mm. Oh, always. Yeah. Like, always, always, yeah. always. So fascinating. Ooh. And finally, what's the most extreme sport you have, you've ever done? Uh, CrossFit. Oh, it was wow. insane. That's insane. insane. I've Bad never idea. tried it. Bad idea. <laughs> thank wow. you so well, much, thank Grant. Thank you very much. Thank you. Joining us this exciting event here, the, the, the final round of the 2017 Van Cliburn International Piano Competition.